what a day good morning youtube and welcome to the hoof gp youtube channel today we are visiting an old favorite a bull with a big heart that he wears on his sleeve This is Scotland's rugged southwest coast, and if you take a short hop, skip, and a jump inland, you'll find Rainton Farm, home of Cream of Galloway ice cream. I shot this drone footage on a cold day in early April, and now we're back to trim a cow's foot, which has been proving problematic for the farmer, and an old favourite bull of mine. This farm maybe looks like every other farm from the sky, but actually, once you get inside the sheds, everything is a little bit different. You see the calves actually stay with their mothers, they're only separated around feeding and milking time up until they're actually weaned from their mother's milk at around six months old. We're at one of my favorite farms because they produce one of the best ice creams in the entire world, according to me. They make cream of Galloway ice cream and they make this one called Millionaire Shortbread. It is awesome. We're here to trim that big boy who has got a love heart on his shoulder. We've trimmed it a few times before and you've seen him in these videos here and here. And today we're gonna see exactly how he's doing because the guy here, Charles, tells me that he's not going particularly well. So we're here to make sure he's as comfortable as possible. As you can see, he's colossal, but he's a nice big friendly boy and hopefully he plays ball with us today. So we're gonna attempt to shed him off from the cows, put him in that pen so that we're all set up and ready to go. Monster. He's got his outside crack on the outside wall. So we've got the bull shed off and now we've got to get the crush in and set up. So the game plan is to get the cow in first, figure out what the problem is that Charles hasn't managed to find, use her as a decoy, and then bring the big boy in. Come on, lass. Come on. Come on. Oops. Craig just broke the crush, look. And he's trying to blame me for not opening the gate. Just because it was my fault. So seeing as she's in anyway, we're gonna trim all four feet, because we might as well. The other three are fine, but she's here, we're here, we might as well. She's got like hardship lying right around here, so something's happened. Yeah. A month and a half ago? And you put a block on this? I had a block on. And she went worse? Yeah. 
Yeah, Charles is just saying he's made a good job of this, but she kicked when he was trimming it and she's gone a little bit thin here. So if you put a block on it'll make it worse. But this problem is what is really causing it and around the front here. So what we're gonna do is get all the pressure off here and here. So we put two blocks on here to get the weight off here, missed this point to keep the weight off here and covered this in glue just to thicken it a bit and give it protection. Then just scraped off all of this dirt and sprayed it with iodine. And now we're going to reshape this so it doesn't flip off. Where, where is it? It's down there. Trying to figure out what way is the best to bring the bull in. Because he's stubborn at the best of times. Do you need a hand? Once we get the bull in the crush, we get his feet straight up in the air and I actually remember this bull's feet fairly well because he's actually got problems on all four of them. So I know pretty much what to expect. Whenever you've got a bull in the crush, you really want to crack on. You don't want to waste time at all. You want to get the bull in and get him out as quickly as you possibly can. This back left foot has got a big crack up the outside wall. So I'm busy removing all of the loose horn and trying to get the weight away from that area which is why I'm about to apply a block. As I was working away here, Charles was telling me that this big guy is in such fine condition, in other words, looking really big, fat and full, because he's due to start work in four or five weeks. So that's why I'm here, so that I can get them as comfortable as possible and looking in tip top shape for the ladies. <laughs> This guy's had this cut right down the middle of his foot ever since I can remember. But he actually does go all right on it.
So whilst we don't actually know what caused this big gash to be right down the middle of his foot, what we do know is that each time we trim him and apply a block, this guy goes much, much better and he's completely comfortable. Until around this time of year when he is much, much heavier and therefore it does become a problem. So I return to trim him once again. Charles is making the call. So this big guy has got this big gash right down the middle of his foot and he's pretty much always had it but we keep trimming him and he goes fine for the next little while and right now it's actually come to a head. So this time, maybe the last time that he actually gets trimmed for this reason. This is called a sand crack or a vertical fissure and it's usually caused by cows or bulls in this case standing in mud the mud drying their hoofs out excessively and that opens up these vertical cracks. They can be extremely painful and I've never ever managed to cure this guy of this vertical fissure so far. However, this time may be slightly different. When I had the Whopper 51, I couldn't get into that crack as well as you can see me doing right now. So hopes are high on this one folks. The disc I'm using on the grinder to trim away the feet is actually made of titanium and titanium sparks extremely easily. This guy had a little stone in between his feet so when I touched it with the titanium disc that is where you saw those sparks flare from. As you can clearly see when he leaves the crush he doesn't look very comfortable. He's had his legs hoisted up to places that he really did not want them to go and that love heart in case you're wondering is a freeze brand put on these bulls as kind of a marketing ploy so that people always recognise these bulls instantly. I can hardly keep up with him so he's doing alright. That's about the fourth time I've trimmed this guy. It's funny how you get relationships with bulls isn't it? And he's doing really well. He's feeling it a bit just now because I've been hoking about his foot obviously. But he will feel right as rain in a few days time. Maybe not perfect because we've trimmed him three times, he's never been perfect, but certainly good to go where the ladies are concerned. What a beautiful day man, it is absolutely gorgeous today. Just gotta clean up and that'll be us, good to go. Look what we got, bingo bango bango, jackpot! <laughs> this is a happy face. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I've really enjoyed today because I got ice cream for free and the bull is doing really, really well. If you guys want to support the channel, go and get yourself some Hoof GP merch at the link in the top of the description below. These hats are my favorite and these seem to be everybody else's. Now on with the ice cream. Look out, here she comes. If you're sitting there wondering, did they just eat all eight tubs of ice cream? Yes. Yes, we did. I'm a ghost in these walls. Or at least I try to be. Because I hope that I'm not showing how I feel for her. She won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I'll have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks
I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know that I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go She will never know, na na Never know, na na She will never know Like she stole my heart Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be easy I wanna hold her close Try, try as hard as I can Cause she'll never be mine I listen when she talks